Auto Obsessed here. There are dozens of dressings in the market that we can use to get the tires black at the end of a car wash. In this video, we'll review CarPro's new long-lasting tire coating, Blackout. CarPro claims this coating is more durable, it's a longer-lasting alternative to conventional water-based tire dressings. So how does Blackout go onto the tires? How does it look? And does it actually work as advertised? Let's find out. Why do detailers, both professional and at home, take the time to dress the tires at the end of a detail? Tires touch the road and get filthy brown with dirt, brake dust, and UV fading. And brown tires look awful. Dirty brown tires really drag down the look of the car or truck, and dressing the tires makes them look black. We definitely want the tires to look black instead of brown. Dressings also add some protection to the tire so it can resist some of the dirt and fading it occurs when the car is driven or parked outside. Further, that protection makes it easier to clean the tire during a wash so lots of benefits to doing a tire dressing. There are many tire dressings on the market. Most water-based tire dressings give great looks to the rubber. There's no doubt about that. But the drawback with most dressings is longevity. How long the dressing product can effectively last on the tire. Most products on the market will be great for three or four weeks, sometimes even six weeks. But if we upgrade from a simple dressing to a full-fledged coating, then we can get months of effective protection, possibly three or four months. What else do we get from a tire coating that dressings don't deliver? Well, the coating should have a strong bond to the rubber, so it's going to be easier to clean. You won't need to scrub as long or as hard to get the dirt off the tire. It'll have hydrophobic water beading and it'll resist chemicals, salts, and brushing and scrubbing so it'll stay in place even after multiple washings. It'll be durable. CarPro is rating this product at around the six month mark, plus or minus. Now let's talk about the application. Like all long lasting coating products, preparing the surface is key. Poorly prepped surfaces won't give a strong bond with the coating which will compromise the long-term life of the coating. Wash the tire rubber with CarPro Multi-X All-Purpose Cleaner and scrub with a brush. You're gonna let it dry completely. To apply the product, open the bottle, drop a line of blackout onto the included foam applicator, rub the applicator over the sidewall of the tire. Get a good, consistent, uniform coverage all over the rubber. Use the extended corner of the applicator to get the coating on the inner lip of the tire, the bead, where the rubber meets the outer rim of the wheel. This is the first application. Obviously, we can see a darkening effect. The first layer of the coating has brought the tire rubber from a medium gray-brown to a much darker black. One or two hours later, second coat. The second coat is definitely necessary. You can see how the second application is filling in the fine textures on the sidewall even more, getting that rubber all the way to a deep, satisfying black. We are finding that it's useful to repeatedly sweep the foam back and forth over the tire a number of times. If you don't brush the coating over the rubber well enough, there will be blotches or areas where the coating is over applied or under applied and that makes the tire look blotchy and inconsistent. So do give yourself an extra minute or two on each tire to really smooth the tire coating out. Back and forth with the applicator to get that consistent even coverage over the entire sidewall. Let it dry for 12 hours for best results. Don't get the tires wet until the coating has set and cured onto the rubber. 
A major factor for those of you wanting to use a tire dressing and tire coating is the look. What if anything does this product do to improve the look of my tires? Wow, black with a satin gloss, nice sheen, not super slick or greasy, which is good as most car owners do not want that wet dripping grease look. The blackout coating adds a bit of sharpness to the tire. You can see how the edge of the lettering and the other artwork on the tire is highlighted by the coating. I'd say this is a little more than satin. To my eye, this is fairly glossy, but certainly not all the way into greasy, glossy territory. However, after a couple days, the gloss does tone down. Here we're looking at the tires five days after application and you can tell that the gloss level has settled from that initial high gloss look into a nice satin look. So Car Pro has really nailed that nice low gloss satin look with this coating. It's not flat or all the way matte. It has a nice sheen, not too glossy. It's very nice. How well does Car Pro Blackout rate? Well, let's start with the ease of application. This is a coating product, so you have to take a little care in cleaning and drying the tire before application. And you have to do two coats, and it does take a little bit of time rubbing the foam applicator over the tire to achieve a consistent, uniform coverage over the entire sidewall. It's not the end of the world, and it's not difficult, but it's certainly more involved than your standard tire dressing. Next, the value, which we gauge as a function of price, longevity, and volume. Today, a 50 milliliter bottle of CarPro Blackout is 74 Canadian dollars. And we're seeing that 50 mils is enough to do two coats on eight tires. That's two coats for two cars. We don't have real world durability data on this coating just yet. We'll keep you updated with our results here in the future. But if we get six months of effective service from this coating, then that would be about $6 per month per car. And in my opinion, that's worth it. Which brings us to the next variable, longevity. How long does CarPro Blackout actually last on daily driven tires? We'll update you in one month, two months, and three months with new videos to show how well the coating stands up to use in time. And lastly, looks. This definitely makes the rubber black a good, deep, consistent black. That's what we want to see for tires. Also, it's dry to the touch. It's not sloppy, oily, greasy looking dressing. Blackout creates a very crisp, sharp satin finish. It has a very good bond on the rubber. There's no sling. The coating does not sling off the tire onto the side of the car when driving. Overall, it's a very nice look, so we'll give it an A plus for looks. The products needed to install the CarPro Blackout tire coating. We're gonna use the CarPro Multi-X All-Purpose Cleaner. This is a critical step in preparing the rubber and, and making a perfect base for the coating afterwards. So we're gonna start out with CarPro Multi-X. This is the all-purpose cleaner. This is gonna take off silicones, old tire dressings, dirt grime, etc. You use the dilute bottle to mix the Multi-X and also spray it onto the tire. We need a good, strong tire brush, something to get into the lettering and all the little intricacies of the tire to make sure that everything is being cleaned. We need some gloves for protection. Uh, the applicator is also included in the box. So you basically, this is everything you need to install the CarPro Blackout coating. CarPro Blackout and all the appropriate products for application are available in store or online at autoobsess.com. Or you can also follow the links in our description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to hit the notification icon to get notified when we release the next videos on our CarPro Blackout testing. So you won't want to miss that. And thank you for watching.